mention. That and laziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, even if I got like an ass load of money, I would only try to figure out. I would only use it to pay the phone bill and figure out how to make this mic better. If I had a shitload of money, I'd invest in Apple stocks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's why I have I'm a I'm just kidding. Of money. I'd find something more obscure. Because of Apple stocks? Yeah, I bought Apple stocks. I thought you like said Apple me. sauce. Oh, I'd that's, invest, dude, I would that's inv- so much better. I would invest in pork <laughs> chops and apple sauce. <laughs> Only cinnamon apple sauce, though. Pork not, chops not, and apple sauce. None of that fucking po folk playing shit. I want, I want cinnamon apple sauce, goddammit. That's a Brady Brunch reference. There'll be a lot of that. I actually watched the Brady Brunch. Really? So you yeah, know pork apple. chops and apple sauce? Yes. I remember the song. I remember the episode where the older sister got her nose broken playing football. Uh, I thought it was like talking back. <laughs> <laughs> the Brady Bunch behind the scenes. <laughs> so, what did you want to say Greg about Greg is a fucking monster. Okay. <laughs> He's just like what, doing below. What I was <laughs> confused about is like you're, you went off. Like, I get the whole, like, oh, Lana Del Rey. I was joking. Like, but, like, you, like, I'm actually kind of turned yeah. on by the fact that she's banging that fucking piece of shit. But, <laughs> that doesn't mean he's not angry. He's turned on about the anger about her fucking Yeah, it's up. mixed feelings. It's a whole stew of feelings. He wants to get cop cucks and, like... Oh. Yeah, but go on. I wonder if that's its own Because you went off about, like, category. the... I mean, it would just the require soldier costume. guy with the war crimes and everything. And, like, I'm like... I I actually know what you're talking about. I was like, oh, the Eddie Gallagher guy? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's that's why I was like, why are you just connecting these? I just want to know why you connected the two. Well, because that dude is literally in a gang unit in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They just got busted for fucking shooting an unarmed person. I mean, they, they're essentially, the modern police are militarized. Yeah. And Sounds to me like they fucking party, and you just hate that. <laughs> You just hate you people that party. <laughs> I sent you a clip. You sent me a clip of something, yeah. You should play it on here. Because a lot of clips first of a lot all, of people. her boyfriend's name is Styx. And this clip... That's his legal name? <laughs> it's Tulsa. I don't know why they call him Styx. I'm assuming okay, okay, it has to do with they... beating black people. But, um... This clip got live PD yeah, kicked out baton, of Tulsa. Baton was already taken. <laughs> Hey, the baton, we can't call the baton you baton. Baton. We already retired his guy, so... Six got Tulsa PD kicked out of Tulsa. Over this clip, because this clip went viral. He's like a TV Watch cop. this. Watch, play it near that. the mic. Play it near the mic. This is hilarious. He's a real cop. With fucking... His There's a guy standing over here at one of these convenience stores. At the That's back him. Of the car with his trunk open. This and he's got a baby blue like long it. shirt on, which is what our the neighborhood cool. crips in this neighborhood wear. So it draws the attention That's of uh, he's a handsome both rival gang members, a jawline, as well as law enforcement. And I can appreciate that. So we're gonna pull in here I think he can like make to. like look Please good while keeping on um, like Negroes in the place. He looks like he's owned at least four Toyota Tundras uh, in his life. And each one has had. He looks like he had a Bowflex when they were popular. This dude just cucks him, dude. You're talking about cuck like cop cucking. This dude gets cucked. Lana Del Rey's boyfriend gets cut. You should put a link of this in the comment. Okay. Doing that stuff, coming and threatening me, <laughs> me for no apparent reason. <laughs> what did I threaten you at? Because you said now, I'm sitting up looking in my trunk and you asked me what am I doing in my trunk. I said, what you Why got in the you trunk? you asked me what am I doing in my trunk? I'm a grown man. With a, with a long criminal history that I have dealt with for a long time. Mm-hmm. That's a gangster still dressing your gang colors still Ain't today no in your dirties. You are. Kind of- do you see any flags coming out of me? I see. <laughs> once upon a time, baby. Oh, so you trying to know once upon a time. You know me that good. Uh, yeah, I've known you no, for No, you about, don't know me that uh, good. You ain't never arrest me for no damn gang affiliation. Look up my foul. I ain't no uh, gang member. All right. And don't accuse me as one. I think you are. Come at me as a man. Uh, and come I at me as a person. Man. You're the one that's getting sensitive and getting your feelings hurt. I like that he said it's gang colors, but his shirt looks like he's Captain Phillips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a collared shirt. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, like... you know all those, all that gang apparel you get at Aeropostale, you know? Yeah, I looked it up. This dude, this dude, it's all drug charges. He's not in a gang, dude. This guy's full of shit. What you mean? I said, you're the one that said no, you're disrespected because you always disrespected people. 
Every time I see you, you disrespect the people. I know. You was the wrongest person running people, and you don't need to have a badge, man, because you're wrong for that. All right. So nobody come and you're wrong for neighbor. fucking Lana Del Rey. <laughs> but you, come to the black <laughs> you hit that girl, I'll kill you, black. motherfucker. Right, man, you wrong for That's that. another thing. He looks like... He's he really like loves that. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> he seems like a huge fan. And he only hits her because he loves her. Well, if like, if you don't hit a woman, then you don't care about her. You know, you need that level of passion in a relationship. I got orange too. Yes. Wear it next time. I do. Wear it next time. I don't have to wear nothing for you, man. I'm gonna describe myself for you. Who the you? are not my god and giver. No. I don't have to wear my clothes. He approached this guy for looking at his trunk. G Easy. No, I don't talk to Boy Except for Action Bronson. I don't know who he is, but I know he should call himself Jeezy. Jeezy's already a thing. It's spelled oh. with a J, but Jeezy's oh, already a thing. Yeah. It's, 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 well, it's young Jeezy, but pretty much everybody calls him Jeezy. Okay, I'm not going to give him his side of the story. Because <laughs> he's a cop. I don't give a fuck. He's an oinker. He's an oinker. Um, well, it sounds like something British people call their penises. <laughs> like, oh, she grabbed me oinka. <laughs> if I were, if I were working at Starbucks, I would write pig on his fucking coffee cup. Did you read that? That was all <laughs> why yeah. he got fired. He fucking Jussie Smollett or We're whatever, like as a, cop. as a That's cop. That's fucking funny, dude. It's like fucking stolen blue valor or some bullshit. <laughs> So, okay, this is when the story gets weird. This is how this weird this is. So, like, we were at Champagne's, and he was telling me about this this dog name, Inward, movie. That is the that, he that is the dog's name is a pilot for the great uh, Royal British Black Military. Yeah, the RAF. I think and his called. like little sidekick dog was named the <laughs> N word with a hard R. It was that, the dog, Nickel the, the 50s. dog. Yeah. Nickel this the was, dog. This was the 50s, and there's a scene of him stepping out <laughs> of the airplane and looking across the the airfield or whatever, and he sees the dog, and he goes, hey, Nickel, <laughs> come here, buddy, and like, calls it. it is and they had amazing. A, and they also used it, and we looked it up, and it found out that he was using that same word as a code, and we thought of a sequel title would be Code Me. <laughs> Does the dog die? I have no idea. I haven't seen the film. I've seen that clip. Yes, because he fucks a black woman, I think, a white I think, woman. Well, I think actually an American person uh, grabs him and brings him to America and forces him to fight other dogs. Oh, yeah. It's a lot like how slavery happened. Yeah, exactly. But or King just Kong. One, just one co-pilot dog i don't even know he's like a service dog for a pilot <laughs> inward is my co-pilot he, uh, he uh he, <laughs> like, he he notices nazi planes and we shoot them down together like what does the fucking dog do as your pilot partner <laughs> you like your balls as you're flying. that's like the original the wearing a hat that says maverick <laughs> imagine top top gun the entire Top Gun where Tom Cruise is replaced by a Labrador <laughs> meme. <laughs> that whole volleyball scene. <laughs> just the dog the is like Air Bud, and he just like does a perfect setup every time and just oh, smashes that shit. <laughs> Although, you know, to make him look taller, they lowered the net like a foot and a half. Did they for real? Yeah, no, I just made that uh, up. Okay. But it very well could be true. Yeah, probably. I've seen pictures of him Apparently like, he's, short he's shorter. And tall. He's shorter than... Then even people like who know he's short, they're still just like, yeah, he was shorter than I expected. It's like a, it's like almost like a stereotype of Tom Cruise. That he he's, looks like he's, like, he's shorter than you expect. Same like with he's uh, done Danny DeVito tall. Sly Stallone is real short too. It'd be funny if like Danny DeVito I think was he's all like the same. Five four or some shit. If he was like all that. the same weight. If they were all the same size as Danny DeVito. <laughs> but Danny just rocked it. Yeah, Danny proud, just dude. works it the best. Yeah, Joe Pesci was never a pussy about being short. No, he wasn't. He, was he actually like, probably made it a man. Did you ever hear the story where Louis C.K. tried to get him and Horace and Pete, and then he's like, no, um, but uh, first of all, he told him to give up comedy and get into acting, because he's just better an actor than a comic. Who, and Joe the, Pesci? Yeah, then okay. the second advice <laughs> Joe like, Pesci gave him was never eat pussy, because <laughs> it makes women think you're weak. <laughs> but anyways, so we were talking about that thing, and I was like, 
oh, you know, we can get, do something like that too because on Turner Classic Movies, I saw this movie from 1934. I can't remember the, what it's called, but it's about a woman. It's a, it's a romantic comedy about a woman who um, gets uh, smacked around by her husband and likes it. Oh, and yeah, you sent me a clip of that. It was kinky. No, 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 no well, hold on, but this is the thing. I didn't know what it was called, and I was like, I just wish I knew what the movie was. I saw it five years ago. I just randomly saw it on Turner Classic Movies. And then two days later, it comes back on to our classic movies. So I found the title, and I sent him the clip, and he has the clip. Okay, now here's the weirdest part. I started looking into Lana Del Rey, and I thought, okay. okay, I Google Lana Del Rey domestic violence, and she's got a song named after that movie, and it's got a oh. line in it. What's the song? It's called Smarty. Okay, I haven't heard that song. Why, you like Lana Del Rey fan? I am. Oh, okay. She likes she likes LDR. Bro. I kind of like her too. She now. fucks with LDR. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like her now, but um, um, especially if she fucks that cop in front of me. But anyways, cop cocking. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it has to have a little guitar solo riff. She like fake dated ASAP Rocky for some time. Wait, Did how, you how just do you call fake it date ASAP? somebody? ASAP. I want to ASAP. I know there's like speculation ASAP about Rocky. him. How do you fake date a. ASAP Rocky? ASAP. That's whenever a uh, dude Rocky. jizzes in you and you let it come out of your butt. It's called ASAP. <laughs> That's when called. it drips out like a tree, yeah, yeah. like sap from a tree. It's because it's, you know, it's tight down there. <laughs> so, it's called, there's a line Some in the sweet song. sweet maple syrup, you know what I'm talking about. There's a line in the song that goes, it says, it says, beat me, uh, something like beat me and then tell me that nobody will love me like you do or something like that. Oh, okay, so that's how you... Yeah. Okay. Do you want to hear about the movie? Sure. What if she tells that cop, she's like, just treat me like an unarmed black man. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the shit out of me. I don't know, pretend man. Pretend I'm your dad, and, or pretend you're, I don't know. I she's got her. an album called Ultra Violence. Yeah. Okay, do you know that's from The Clockwork Orange? I didn't know that. Okay, that's one story I don't know very well. That's a painful movie to watch, dude. Yes, and why is it painful? Just because of all the noises, like oh. I've, all, I've only ever seen it on VHS, and like, dude, and I didn't expect it to be as long as it is, and I just like it. And you didn't expect that rape scene to be that good. That's this enough, is really sad. They really like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> they Jesus really put a lot of work in this. This guy went fucking <laughs> balls deep in this shit, dude. It was very believable. The outfits, the fucking song, the fucking, yeah, the yeah, camera. that movie. That movie was kind of exhausting. <laughs> it's a tiring movie because there's a lot going on and it fucks with you. At least it didn't me, although I was also, like, super baked. I'm pretty sure I might have actually eaten edibles because I'm cool as fuck. So what if, so here's my theory, and this is what I was getting at at some of those posts. Um, which <laughs> like, like, that's what I, I knew you were joking, but I wanted to know why you were connecting two topics. Oh, be between um, violence overseas and violence over here? I don't, no, I don't see a connection. Okay. But, like, why were you connecting, like, like a war criminal, if that's what you want to call it? I don't know. With, like... Between a, a between, like, domestic Del, war criminal? Like, I just, I just want to see the connection. Because I think that she's attracted to that. I think, if you think that she's writing all these songs about domestic violence because she doesn't like it, there's just some women that are attracted to violence. I don't think... She, why would you date movie. a cop? Yeah, no, that's Seriously. something that they're known for. Like, what? Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's like, I just started dating uh, an ex-NFL lineman. He played for 13 years. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, he doesn't know where he is, but he knows he likes to swing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he swings for the fences. She loves that drama and, like, violence, and she romanticizes all this shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if she uh, if she cheated on uh, this cop with a Black Lives Matter activist, and then was like, murder each other. She cheated on him with that guy that he was harassing <laughs> in the video. Yeah, she's like, who is that? That guy looks like she he probably went up to him and started talking to him to try to get that guy's number. Oh, there you go. And then it just happened. She's like, she's I'm gonna like, cut I'm this gonna cop. Make, I'm gonna make this cop super jealous. With this heroin addict. But um, you want to hear? This? Okay, so we gotta play this clip. You want to play this clip? What clip? You the Smarty woman? clip. Okay, yeah. Let me get my phone. But um, <laughs> you don't think there's a connection between a, a war criminal and a and a cop who uh, who sh murders people over here and somebody who murders 
Yeah, so I mean, the only difference, the only difference, connecting it. well, like, the main difference is that, like, war criminals usually only kill innocent Middle, <laughs> Middle Eastern people <laughs> and uh, domestic war criminals, police officers, pretty much kill innocent black people. Yeah, I guess the race of the person is probably different. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I this, this Eddie Gallagher guy like, fucking flat out strip stabbed the twelve year old. Yeah, modern ones go for the yo 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 yo. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Different you brand feel, of Islam. You feel that? <laughs> yeah, two different. There's there's like <laughs> Osama, and then there's like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You know what exactly. I mean? Uh, there's a spectrum of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the difference would be the, the difference between Malcolm X and um, Yasser Arafat. I don't know. What was funnier? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think Yasser Arafat had a sense of humor. Hold on, let me see. He dressed funny. No, he was, was a naked gun. Dude, I saw Naked Gun when I was like seven years <laughs> you old. You remember that part where they had all the Middle Eastern people? And the main thing there. I remember is... Uh, nice beaver. No, the main one I remember is whenever he pulls out the gun, that's a dildo. That's like the thing that... <laughs> Being, being seven or eight years old and seeing that is just hard to... Hold on, I'm trying to find... Wait, did you, was, do you remember if you messaged me or texted me? Message. I, um... <laughs> I just... When Priscilla Presley climbs up the ladder and he looks up her skirt and he, he looks up and then he goes, Nice beaver. And then she hands down a stuffed beaver. She's like, thanks, I just had it stuffed. I forgot that Lisa Marie Presley was married oh, here to, it is. to Elvis Jackson. Presley. Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, that must have been horrible. Dude, it says the name of the movie in the clip. I know, but I didn't know the name of the movie until I saw it on Eternal Classic Movies, and then I looked it up on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I thought you found the clip. First. I can tell you the setup. Right here. Okay, hold on, real quick. Hold on. You're good. Okay, pause it for a second. All right, so this is what happens. It's a very short movie. They're going, getting ready to go to a party. She's always provoking him. Trying to provoke him, right? And then one day, at, in the middle of a party, he smacks her. She runs into a room. They start getting divorced. She hooks up with the lawyer who divorces her, who's like a nice guy who would never hit a woman. But then she starts provoking the lawyer. And then smacks her. And then she hides in the room again. And then the lawyer asks the husband, what would you do if you were me? He's like, I would have done what, I, what she wanted me to do from the beginning. I'd have stormed through that door and beat her just the way she wants me to. And was the lawyer like, Oi, vey, I can't do all that. I have to go get some matzo. <laughs> I have to go, yeah, I have to go count money. Because all lawyers are Jewish. I have That's to count money. Okay. And this is how <laughs> the movie count. ends. I gotta go run Hollywood. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Lana Del Rey calls herself smarty. If I didn't know the context, I would think that's her father. <laughs> I think in a sense it is. It's kind of hot. <laughs> now I'm going to watch this again. Aren't they all? This is actually kind of a good movie. Damn. This is pre-code. Look at that. I'm going, Tony, but will you hook me up? You would wear that dress, wouldn't you? I didn't bring a trunk along. Vernon was right. It's a mess. I think it's very becoming. This is 1934. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you what I propose. <laughs> Her eyes. Now get this. Any more cracks out of you? If you dare to, if you so much as, if you don't watch your step, I, I swear I'll hit you so hard. Show me. <laughs> Show me. Tony, dear. Hit me again. Okay, it's not movie. as like it's not as like as intense as I thought it would be. Like. Well, they were gonna pull I, out whips and shit. He was gonna pull out a belt just, and just, beat like, her fucking ass. Like, it was more like, I don't know. It's weird to think, like, like that it's 1934, so it, it seems like it's crazy, you know, to have a movie with that kind of a scene in it, but at the same time, like, if there was a time where it was accepted to just hit the shit out of a woman for <laughs> little to no reason, yeah. it, was it was probably 1934. I'll bet, I'll bet the, the, um... 
I'll bet the um, uh, I'll bet the fact that she bounced between two dudes was a bigger deal. But it was like pre-code. They didn't have rules. Oh, that's then. a good point. Yeah, that was. Uh, and there's, I think they showed titties back then. Sometimes. Fuck yeah. Do you know in Psycho, the one of Bigfoot, that was the first time they ever had a toilet in a movie, and that was a big deal. I feel like you told me that. That's really funny though. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> what are we going to do about this toilet? And they had to have the toilet in the scene because he could just, she like, I think she threw something in the toilet. I don't can't remember. Anyways, I think Del- Lana Del Rey has a little thing. I had a, I picked up a girl one time who was 19 years old. And How 19, old were 20 you? years yeah, old. Yeah, that's, that's, that was my question. How, How old, old were you? you? That was in my 30s. So it's probably, this is not, this wasn't that long ago. Paul, you were in your 30s at least 12 years ago. Don't listen, lie to me. <laughs> listen, that's not the point. The age difference actually isn't the point. Although the age difference, okay, maybe the age difference is the point. She was fighting with her boyfriend. She stayed She stayed at my house a night or two. And we didn't really do anything. We just made out and stuff. But we mostly talked. And she just had to, hand stuff. This is a total Midwest thing. She, told, she got into a fight with her boyfriend. And he, like, came over to her house and stole his battery. Stole the battery out of her car. He stole the battery out of her car? Yes. I'm guessing he put it in there, and he's like, well, I put it in, I can take it out, bitch. Or maybe he's just a a catty asshole. So she was talking to me. She goes, what would you do if I hit you? I go, I'd kick you out of my house. She goes, you wouldn't hit me back. You just let me hit you. I go, I just told you I'd kick you out of my house. He's like, yeah, but that's not standing up for yourself. She was, like, really disappointed that I wouldn't slap her around. I was like, I could say, like, really awful things to you. I know it's yeah, and she was. I think she was so turned off by the fact that I would not hit her. Hurt, I would rather hurt her feelings. And I was like, dude, that's a trap. Like, what am I gonna hit you and then you call the cops and then like, come on, man. What am I dumb? Well, at least what she, am I? What am I? What are we the same age? I wasn't. Well, at least she wasn't like sweet. I love beating the shit out of men with no repercussions. <laughs> Do you know um, the the goalie for the um, women's U.S. national soccer team? She got in trouble, like, a few... This was probably, like, actually, like, five years ago, if not more, that that this happened. But she got in trouble and got domestic abuse charges uh, against her because she beat the shit out of her boyfriend. Really? She was bigger than he was? Um, they... Maybe the same size. I didn't ever see pictures. I was just reading a story about it. But, like, it's really... I mean, she's a goalie for... A world champion soccer team, so like, yeah. she's a she's a sturdy a sturdy broad, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it was that like, poor little man though. But how? Well, what does he do? I don't fucking know. There's a lot of like Ronda Rousey. I didn't even say his name. You always see these cute like UFC fighters. Well, okay, you don't always see them. <laughs> they, like you'll see one every once in a while, and they'll, and their boyfriend will always be like their trainer, or That's like their weird. fucking. I don't know, it makes sense, but I mean... But like, it's weird, like, career-wise. Yeah, I'd rather see, like, Ronda Rousey, like, with Tom Cruise. She'd be taller than him. Yeah, then you, like, <laughs> see Tom Cruise with, like, a black eye Tom and shit. would be like, you got this. I did all my own stunts in all of the Mission Impossible movies. I imagine... You can beat the shit out of this fucking Scandinavian uh, woman. Oh, yeah. He probably thinks he can. He thinks he can ride her like an airplane. You think it's hot when, uh... When, <laughs> um female UFC fighters do the cornrows in their hair. Uh, I, think, I feel I think like... It's hot when they get me in a, get my head trapped between their thighs. They could kill you, dude. I want to see... I want to oh, see... It would like be hot if Tom Cruise walked on the red carpet with Ronda Rousey with a black eye because he got mouthy. I imagine he gets mouthy. It would be even funnier if he walked on the red carpet with Katie Holmes with a black eye because he got mouthy. <laughs> and Katie Holmes just beat the shit out of him. She's probably twice his size. Yeah, I mean, she's actually a pretty tall lady, isn't she? Like 5'6 or 5'7 or something like They're that? They're all taller than I know, him. I know she's skinny, so that usually correlates with being tall if you're a celebrity. We can look that up. I want to know who's taller, like Tom Cruise or oh Al Pacino. Oh, I think my shit can go in the dryer now. Hold on. You need to do like Mia. You're gonna be quiet. <laughs> I, I feel. I felt like I should have done that. I don't know. Tom Cruise height. I don't like Tom Cruise. How do you not like Tom Cruise? Oh. Was, uh, f- five seven. What did five seven? He's only two oh, inches smaller height. than me. He's my height. You never saw Vanilla Sky. Oh, look at this. Okay, good. <sighs> Nicole Kidman is five eleven. I know five, she's fucking tall. Uh, so, yeah. um, Brad Pitt's 5'11". Really? I think these are all fake. Katie Holmes 5'9", so she's taller than me. Leonardo DiCaprio is 6 feet tall. I didn't know that. Get the fuck out of here. 
Leonardo He's DiCaprio is like the most known for like not doing anything like in bed. Like, Mom, not doing anything in bed. Like there's tons said? of models and stuff that come out, and he like he doesn't do anything. He like, just lays there. Just lays yeah, because there. yeah, because he's here. He can, Leonardo dude. DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah be- or it's the third fucking chick, you know, and so his dick's not as hard. Like, come hey, on. It took me so long to win a Grammy. I'm fucking I'm banging here, five bitch. miles in a row. <laughs> Just that. running through, bro. Yeah, you're running out of fucking ball sauce. What was the Lana Del Rey song? What? What's the Lana Del Rey song? Smarty. Smarty, okay, I was typing in Sweetie for some reason. Yeah, there's so many songs. I'm interested in reading her book, though. I don't know. I wouldn't really want to read her book, but... Why not? She's got... I, I keep reading her lyrics. She's got good lyrics. She's pretty good. She's really good. But did good. you like how I quoted the Sylvia Plath poem? Oh, you did. Yeah. I did like that. I want to see the lyrics for this song. Do I make you feel like Christmas time? Her real name's Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which... Uh, speaking of which, before she was Lana Del Rey... Uh, Moby's got a thing in his book about how he tried to bang her. It was just Lisa. <laughs> he tried to, he tried to bang. Um, Moby tried to bang her, and she's like, "No, thank you." She like she did come out about like fucking her way into the business though. Like she was one of the few women, or not like I'm sure not the other women, but she was like super open about it. Like yeah, I slept with people. She like, didn't fuck. Deals. She didn't fuck Moby. Wait, did she have a song like that? About fucking her way to the top. Mm, I forgot how she like announced it. But, She's like, got a, it's. I think it's literally a song. It's probably a song. Yeah. It might even be the name of an album. How many albums you got? Actually, yeah. There's a there's a song where she says "fuck my way to the top" on a, not ultra violence, but on another one on her self titled. I think. Why wouldn't like, you read her book? I don't know. I don't think she's that special, like that interesting. She's just a beautiful, talented woman. I'm gonna check out her book. No, she no, I think she can write, write good lyrics. She can write good lyrics. I don't know if she's Canadian or not, but I know she wouldn't fuck Moby because he's a fucking vegetarian. And you know. So that means he doesn't have a lot of ball sauce. Yeah, and cocksy and copsy pure fucking meat. 